My heart is just pounding out of my chest because I'm so nervous for everybody else. Because this thing is deadly. If you mess up, uh, it's not a hospital visit. It's probably a visit to the morgue. These guys are f***ing crazy, bro. You don't get the name Adrenaline Addiction for nothing. <laughs> Out here. We are out here. We are out here on this beautiful lake. The main goal for this adventure is a giant rope swing. Nick Coulter is masterminding this huge setup. It's going to be about a hundred feet and it's going to be extremely, extremely terrifying and dangerous to do. People are going to get mangled. If anybody even has the balls to send it, I'm about to lay eyes on it for the first time. <laughs> I think it's going to be gnarly. Holy shit. Wait, where do we go from? It's a big old fucking no, Captain. <laughs> big old no. <laughs> I'm here with Nick Coulter, and uh, we're getting into some pretty sketchy stuff. Tomorrow's gonna be a gnarly day for all of us, and uh, what's gonna happen, Nick? We're gonna set up Mike Wilson's monster rope swing. The 99 foot rope swing that we all watched as kids and wanted to do. Mike Wilson's like a hero for a lot of us, and seeing him do that, and now doing it ourselves is gonna be like super rewarding. What are we doing? Do you recognize him with this hair? I know, they're like. <laughs> <laughs> it's Slim Shady. Slim Shady cliff jumps now. Heck yeah. I'm shaking just like <laughs> thinking about it. We're starting in that tree, swinging out from a cable that's uh, tied across to the two rocks, and then over all this debris and nonsense, and then hopefully. We make it into the water at the end of the swing. That's the plan. We're trying to get this whole thing set up right now, and uh, do is set up this hunting tree stand. Yeah, we're setting up the tree stand. We don't know anything about tree stands, so that's going to be the first obstacle to tackle. And then, hopefully, get this cable across and the rope set up and everything good to go for tomorrow morning. We're going to come back and send it heavy. I don't know if I want to jump it because it's absolutely terrifying. What do you think, Tom? Oh, I, I thought I was ending. Oh it. yeah, that works too. Do it again. All right. I want you all to myself. Don't wanna share you with nobody else. So give me something to believe. Will you promise me? Will you promise? chance we might not be able to set up this swing today we realize that our anchors aren't exactly in the right spot so we might need to go buy some more gear to make it happen we have ran into a few problems today with the rigging specifically we thought we had it set up properly last night and we we're feeling good about it and then we get here this morning the trajectory of the cable is completely wrong it's only off by like three or four feet but those three or four feet could create very serious problems for us. Everything needs to be 100% perfect. You never, ever want to rush a dangerous situation. You want to minimize all the risks involved. And if they're not minimalized, then you're just putting yourself at greater risk than you need to. If we rush this and rig this all like sketchy just because we want to hit it today, and then something goes wrong, we're going to like blame ourselves for the rest of our lives. Alright 
guys, we're back at this death trap one week later. <laughs> Slipper five. And uh, we're gonna give you a little lowdown. Basically, it snowed last week here. And today is pretty chilly, but the sun feels good. And we're gonna get at it just about now. We're gonna send a bag down full of rocks to see the trajectory of the swing. Make sure it's gonna get us to where we need to go without hitting this rock, without hitting that rock, without hitting those trees. We raise the swing a little bit, raise the tree stand. So it's a little higher now. Hopefully it goes good and then we can send it. Three, two, one. So we just sent a backpack off of the tree stand as a test swing to judge how high we're gonna be over the bushes on the swing out. And it's really close, it's a minor adjustment. I think we'll be ready. The swing is completely set up, ready to go. The biggest swing ever set up in the water. It's over all of this terrain. It's gonna be the end of you if you don't get to the water on this swing. So we're all completely terrified. I think out of everybody here today, only three of us are gonna do it. Literally, there's some of the best cliff jumpers in the world up there on that rock, and only three of us are gonna do it. That just goes to show how absolutely insane and terrifying the swing is. I'm not gonna lie, I'm completely scared shitless. I'm just, <sighs> We've all been discussing what we wanna do off this swing. And we've come to the conclusion that just surviving the swing is insane enough. Even if we just like straight jump it. Um, personally, I'm gonna at least triple it. I don't have plans for the quad because I got hurt on my last quad. You guys remember that one. The goal of today is surviving this swing. Not about doing the best trick. It's about survival. It's intense. <laughs> And dude, oh my god. I'm that never doing that again. I'm done. Insane, yeah. dude. Dude, that's just so scary. Stepping off that platform is like, I don't know, it's like life and death. You just gotta hang on. It was pretty much pure terror the entire time until I left go of that rope. But yeah, once I was over the water, I was good to go. So I just went for like this crazy, weird, corked out triple side flip thing and ended up landing it. So I'm happy. I'm totally pumped. I'm never gonna do this rope swing ever again. Mike Wilson is a nut for setting this up first and quadding it. Mike Wilson's up there right now. I'm gonna get him to say hi to you guys in a bit. I don't wanna go again. Nobody else wants to go again. It's terrifying. It was the most insane thing I've ever seen. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's up there with the most insane thing I've ever done. We're gonna go talk to Nick because he coordinated this whole thing. We're gonna go talk to Mike Wilson because he was the originator of this swing. See what he has to say. <laughs> yeah! 
Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, boys. We survived. <laughs> I just snorted champagne. Most of it went up my nose. Mm -mm -mm. Woo! Now I gotta go talk to Wilson, see what he's got to say about us replicating his swing. What? Really? Dude, you did a 360 before you took off. And you had just been asking me how to stay straight. I was like, I'm pretty sure he's about to die. I'm not watching. I saw you going backwards and I was like, he, at least when he gets out there, he should be forwards again. But I was like, he's spinning and he's not planning on it and he's <laughs> that was such a terrifying thing to watch. How'd you feel about us uh, replicating your swing? I've never seen anybody else do anything like that, so yeah. it was wicked. You know, scary to watch other people do it, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Like when I'm when I'm doing it, I'm in, I'm in control. Yeah, exactly. you know, and I'm not worried about myself messing up. But when other people are doing it, it's terrifying. You yeah. guys released early, so you released like you released a little later. I did. You probably released at like 85 feet, <laughs> but you were going up at the same time, which yeah. means you've got the hang time of like 110, 120 foot cliff. Like yeah. you're, you've got a while in the air. You're just chilling. Well, yeah. that's why it's you know the three of you guys who are hitting it, and not the 25 dudes who were here last week. Because if what happened to you had happened to one of them, we probably wouldn't be here talking about this right now. What's the secret to the triples? No carb diet. <laughs> I had too much carbs last night. Yeah, you had too many carbs, too much pizza. I'm just happy this is all over with, for me at least. It was Today was awesome. Awesome? Awesome. Oh yeah. That's what I like to hear. Were you scared for your dad? No. No? You just knew he had it? Yeah. He was confident. Yeah. This day would not have been possible without uh, Coulter here. Oh yeah, man. Organizing it, setting it up. Or dad. Just making it happen. Yeah, Brandon too. Definitely, everyone put in a lot of work. So go check out Coulter's. YouTube channel? Oh yeah. Called Crolter, right? <laughs> it's actually it? just Nick Holter on YouTube. Oh, oh. Holter on Instagram. Oh, sh yeah, go check him out. Crazy day with crazy people. <laughs> so fun, it's over now though. And now we go party. Yeah. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Woo! Oh, get I these guys some apple juice and get me some <laughs> tequila. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. <laughs> you guys like apple juice? No? Oh, 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 oh,